Welcome to today's webinar. My name is Rachel Klein, and I will be your presenter here for the next 20 minutes. Um, today, we are going to be um, discussing CAS certification and NCOA processing. Um, so these are options that you have available to you uh, within the membership module in Church Windows. Um, so just a couple bit of housekeeping things here before we get started in the topic. Um, you can ask questions during the presentation, um, but it is just me in here today. So please keep in mind that if you do have a question, I'm not going to get to it until the end of the presentation. Um, I find that if I try to read the question while I am teaching you the material, I get myself mixed up. So if you do have a question, just type it in. Uh, but just, just know that I'm not going to get to it until the end of the webinar when we do a little bit of a Q&A. Um, but you can simply type that question into that question section on your GoToWebinar toolbar. Just expand that tab um, and you can type that right in. Um, also, I am recording this webinar. Um, it was brought to my attention that we have never done a webinar on this topic before. Um, it's not a super commonly used um, topic, but it's something that I definitely want to touch on for those customers who utilize it. So I will get this cleaned up and have it put up on the website on our support center page uh, by the end of the day. So you are able to go back, rewatch it or share it with someone um, that you, you feel might find this beneficial. Okay. So a couple things just to clarify, the CAS certification, that stands for Coding Accuracy Support System. And then we're also going to talk about the NCOA processing, which is the National Change of Address Processing. So if you are going to do bulk mailing, this is important, um, important things that you need to use to then be able to uh, use different software to, uh, to match or fit for post um for bark mailing services, okay? So one thing I do wanna to touch on before we jump into how to do the um, output and the input in Church Windows membership itself is that um, certification needs to be done by a firm certified by the US Post Office, okay? So one thing to keep in mind though is that you can use Postal One service, which is actually through the U.S. Post Office. If you decide to, to go with the Postal One service, then you don't need to use this CAS certification and the NCOA processing functions in church windows. Okay. Now, if you opt to use Postage Saver with your church windows or any other type of bulk mailing program um, that the U.S. Post Office offers, then you can use this function to then create your, your export, get your, your data CAS certified, and then import it back into church windows, okay? But if you're going to go through Postal One through your post office, you do not need to do this, okay? I just want to clarify, so you have some options. Um, one of the companies that we have partnered with to do this CAS certification is Lorton Data. So what I'm going to show you um, is on our website real quick where you can gather some more information on Lorton Data specifically. So if you go under investigating, you go to CW Partners. It's going to take you to our partner page. If you scroll down here a little bit, Lorton Data. You click on this. Um, it's going to give you some more information about Lorton, and that's also going to have the form that you need to use to then contact and apply Lorton data to get your data CAS certified, okay? Now, um, again, there is always, or we are always going to recommend that you talk to your local post office for bulk mailing requirements in your area, okay? So we have found that depending on where you live, even depending on your city, what post office you go to, some of their bulk, bulk mailing requirements are going to be a little bit different, okay? So before you, what I would recommend, before you go out and pay for the expense of board and data, I would first talk to your postmaster, talk to your post office, make sure you have 
all the information you need before you decide to invest and, and do this purchase through Lorton Data. Also, check out Postal One. Again, that's free. The post office offers that. Um, you can always look into that as well to see which fits your needs better. Okay. I hope I was clear on that. Again, if you want more information, head out here to our website. Um, also, you can research Postage Saver if that's something of interest to you, and you can do that at www.bulkmail.info, and you can get some good information there as well. Okay, so let's start uh, the process here for the CAS um, and the NCOA processing within Church Windows. I'm going to go ahead and go into membership here, and this process is actually pretty simple. Um, in membership, up at the top, you're going to click on special functions, and then right here, you have your CAS and your NCOA option. Go ahead and click on that. First thing you're going to do is create the file, okay? So the process for how this works, whoops, I don't know why that's down there, is you are going to take out all of your, your addresses that you have in Church Windows. You're going to export that out into a file. Then that file is going to go over to Lorton Data, or if there's some other company that you choose that the post office approves of to certify your data. They are then going to look at all these addresses, make sure that they are accurate, they are correct addresses. Um, and then they're also going to look at that NCOA, that national change of address processing to make sure if somebody's moved, it's going to have their new address available for you, okay? So once they get all that data certified for you, they are then going to send you a file back that you will then input back into Church Windows, okay? Just wanted to review the process real quick so you guys know what I'm going over. So first step here is creating that file to send to Lorton Data. Okay, so as you can see up here at the top, you can decide if you just want members or you want mem visitors included as well. You also have the option to include donations, individual givers or donations, group givers. So those are givers who have only been put in over on the donations side of church windows. Okay, everybody in here is going to automatically be checked to be exported. If you have a couple that you want to remove, you can simply uncheck that box and they won't be part of um, the export if you wish, okay? And then bottom right, you're just going to hit the export button here. It's going to give you a default file location. If you want to change that location, you want to put it somewhere else, so you throw it out on your desktop, which is what I'm going to do. Whoops, the wrong button here. The little dot, dot, dot button there, choose your desktop, and then you can save it. Make sure the location is what you want, and then simply hit OK. All right. And then you're going to get the message. The file has been created. It's going to give you that location. The file is always going to be called USPS Convo, C O N V dot text, okay, or it could be a CSV for comma separated value. They're both text files, one's tab, one's comma delimited, both will work. Um, don't change the name of this file though, okay, so don't export it and save it as a different name. Keep it as the USPSCONV, as the file name itself, all right? It's going to ask if I want to open the folder. I can say yes just to see where it's saved, which you can see it's right up here at the top. Now, with that being said, you don't need to open this file. Again, you do not change the file name. This is the file that simply gets sent off to uh, Lorton Data to do the conversion. So whether you put it on a flash drive, send it in, whether you upload it to their website, instructions will be available at Lorton Data for how you get them the data itself, okay? Now keep in mind, when Lorton has your data and they are cleaning up and certifying those addresses, any changes you may get to someone's address within your data in church windows, when you import that data back in, is going to be overwritten. So I would recommend not updating anybody's addresses until you get your data back from Lord. Okay? Because anything you change is going to be wiped out when you put the import, put the file back in. Okay? So now let's talk about importing the data 
back in once Lorton certifies it and sends it back to you, okay? First thing we are always going to recommend is making a backup of your data. Anytime you do a mass data change within your software, we are always, always going to recommend making a backup of your data so you have your data at that point before you make the change. If something were to occur, something were to be wiped out, not saying it happens all the time, but we have seen it, safeguard, make a backup, okay? So once you make your backup of your data, you're going to come back up here, special functions, hit this CAS NCOA option, and you're going to go to import this time. All right, and then whether you get the data back on a flash drive, plug that in, whether you download it from an email, what have you, save that file locally somewhere on your machine so you can browse to it and import it. So you'll hit select file. Simply just going to pick the one that we just did, even though it's not certified. But for example sake, I'm just going to go with this and we're going to open it. And then it's going to take that now certified cleaned up data that's ready for bulk mailing and it's going to bring it back into your church windows here. Okay. And then you're going to hit the import button. And it's going to tell you all addresses has been, all addresses successfully imported, excuse me. And then you're going to say, okay. And that's all there is to it. All right. So it's actually a very simple process. Pulling the data, exporting the data out of church windows, sending it to Lorton, them certifying it, getting it back to you, and then you importing it back in. Okay? Now, keep in mind, too, if you want information on this, today's webinar, I went through one of our workbooks. It was the Membership 203 workbook, pages 28 through 30. All of this is in here. So you, if you were our... If you are the type of person that likes it in uh, black and white, feel free to buy that workbook and then you can have all of this information at your disposal, okay? But I want to, I want to make sure I'm clear with you as well that you do have a free service offered through the U.S. Post Office, okay? So this is, this is a newer service. I want to say it's a couple of years it's been around. Um, but, Check on this too. Um, go out to www.usps.com slash postal one. Okay.